Now back to our top story. Experts say one of the most common trees in the in and around the greater Lafayette area may be extinct in the very near future. News Channel 18's Jesse Wheeler has more on this startling prediction and what it means for your home and community. Jesse, this sounds like a very serious issue. Yeah, Dan, it certainly is. It's a concern that News Channel 18 has been covering for years. The danger of the growing emerald ash borer population. Purdue entomologists offered warning signs, tips on how to handle the situation, and the future of trees within the greater Lafayette area. It is here and it will kill every single untreated ash tree. This is the emerald ash borer, less than an inch long, but causing trouble all over the Midwest and Northeast, including in the greater Lafayette area. As Purdue entomologist Cliff Sadoff shows, beetles larvae quickly kill ash trees. What we see here is what an emerald ash borer does under the bark. It feeds and makes these little channels uh, and bores and chews, and chews all the wood. The feeding cuts off circulation to the tree, drying it out and eventually killing it. Just look at the difference. This tree was infected last year and is now dead. The ash tree next door, although it appears healthy, is next in line. In fact, upon closer inspection... Here's the head of the adult beetle. It's getting ready to chew its way out of the tree. And then it's going to fly for about three weeks. And on that flight, the female will lay hundreds of eggs on ash trees, quickly spreading the problem. Signs that an ash tree is infected by the emerald ash borer include woodpecker holes like this, beetle exit holes such as this one, and... Uh, this, this shoot here is called an epicormic sprout. Uh, this is what trees do uh, their last gasp when the tree is in trouble. Sadoff says the number of ash trees that die each year doubles until the population is dead. Purdue experts say Detroit, Michigan discovered the pest in 2002. Ten years later, there's little to no living ash trees. It's a problem that requires immediate attention. Homeowner treatments are fairly affordable. A homeowner can treat their trees um, for around $2 per inch um, of trunk diameter. Anne Marie Nagel says you might be able to save some money if you work with your neighbors to hire someone to do the treatments. If your tree is dead, Nagel says removal should be done by a certified arborist. If you do cut down the tree yourself, remember, never transport firewood away from the site as it will accelerate the spread of the emerald ash borer. Now to find out more about what you need to do if your tree is in danger and just how much money your tree is saving you, head over to WLFI.com and follow the links. Jesse Huila, News Channel 18. Well, thanks, Jesse. Well,